get some requests wanting to go hunting and take y'all hunting with me one day. And it's filming while I was doing that, so we're here. Um, I got done at working early, a little early today, so I come out here. We got about an hour and a half, two hours, four hours dark. I've been here probably 30 minutes setting up the cameras and everything. But, uh, Last time I hunted this blind, I killed that buck that I was cooking up in the morning for breakfast. And it wasn't nothing right on about, but it put me in the freezer and I hadn't had enough time to really go to kill nothing. So I just went ahead and got rid of him. He was old buck, looked like crap, but it sure does taste good, I'll tell you that. But we're out here, we're gonna try to see if we can't get some nothing. I'm really actually looking for a doe tonight. Um, I'd like to feel, I haven't filled any toe tags yet, and I need to fill them. I got one buck tag left, and I'm saving it for daddy, but we'll see if a, if a good biggin comes out, my god, he's gonna die tonight, but I hope nobody gets offended by this, but the way I said, good lord, put him here for our consumption and what else to eat, so I'm here to eat him. <laughs> Y'all hang on while I got the camera. The camera sitting over here. And I got my phone set up where I can look at it and watch y'all. But one thing about these hay bale blinds is that you can put them out in the middle of a hay field if you ain't got your hay up yet. And they'll never know anything's different. If you do them right and build them right, they're completely sealed. Sand proof everything. They can't smell you. They can't see you. They'll never know you're even there. And on top of that, if you insulate them, you can put you a little heater like that one in here. It's just like sitting at home in your house. So, I love this hay bale blind. I've killed more deer out of this blind than probably any other stand blind, whatever I've got. Worth ever seen. Now I built mine on pallets and then a floor underneath it. And then I got uh, wire panels for the outer part. I'll just show you all there. I didn't have 
just don't care. And they have no fear of nothing, I guess, because nobody ever stood. Everybody just does like I did. Nobody ever calls the law on and actually presses charges. If some more people did that and locked their sorry rear ends up, they'd quit doing crap like that. They come right here in front of this deer blind and slung donuts. And they went in the back field and done the same thing. And then over in another field, they tore it up pretty good too. But this here isn't that bad. I was actually shocked. But this pisses me off. Alright, I've got uh, a lot of news to talk about today. But first off, we didn't uh, see anything last night. Um, that's just hunting. It's the way it goes. Uh, I'll try again here in a few days and see if we can't get in there when it's a little colder. It was too hot. It was about 10, 15 degrees and I had some spare time so I just went. I ain't got to go that much this year like I want to. Uh, one, because we bailed hay so late. And two... Because they've just had so much other stuff going on now. It's just hard to find time to go. But uh, uh, but what I want to talk about today is an update. Or more or less what to expect for 2018 in the spring. Um, we're looking at right now. Uh, well, I was going to do an update on the channel at the same time. But there's so much new stuff going to be coming with the channel. And update and big news that I want to announce some things I'm going to change different things I'm going to do uh, all for the better quality of the videos and the channel that I'm going to wait and do that in another video uh, some big news coming we're nearly at a thousand that's a major goal for me uh, I wanted to meet by the 23rd of this month two days before Christmas it was when I started the channel last year and uh, I'm looking hoping that we can pick up three more subscribers because right now we're at 997 uh, and that will meet my goal if we can get there by then for the channel and that means that uh, the uh, big surprise will be unveiled um, and if we can hit a thousand we'll get it but uh, we'll help the channel tremendously uh, and y'all will be very pleased uh, but we'll see um, but as far as the uh, next 20 year in 2018 is for the hay business, uh, as far as purchases, that's what uh, everybody's probably going to want to know first. Uh, purchases, uh, with the loss of the cattle ground the other day, um, I don't know uh, right now, to be honest. Uh, we're waiting around to see, Get i got to send off the soil test results, see how much fertilizer is going to cost us before we we even talk about purchases uh, one thing that I'm pretty certain I can say that we are going to do is an accumulator unless I lose some hay ground um, is an accumulator trailed accumulator we need one we've outgrown the max later system it's just uh, honestly it's just uh, at the side as much hay as we want to do and we're trying to do to make up for the loss of the cattle uh, it just makes more sense to go with a trailed accumulator to save time, money, and fuel and to help me produce more faster. Uh, because right now I'm having to haul it all, load it all, accumulate it all, and haul it all by myself. My dad's not, uh, has tried to run the, the skid steer and load and unload and everything and he just, he doesn't like doing it. And it because he says he's not good at it and uh, my grandpa can't do it either so I have to load and unload and do it all myself um, and uh, that's uh, one main reason why I want to get an accumulator a trailed one because that would help me out and save me a ton of time so that way we can do more in a day and it would help me out a lot because right now I got a lot on my plate because my grandpa's not able to do any what he used to do now that he's older, which is understandable, um, and it's just putting more on me. 
so any relief I can get helps a lot and that would help us tremendously so we've all talked about it and I think we're all set on getting one depending on if it fits in the budget and uh, I've got to call Coon in an MFG uh, wanting to get a I've said it many times I think it's 1036F same as DLH's uh, I've talked to him talked to several other people that's got them around here about about them and I think that's the direction we want to go um, I don't want a holster or uh, another system with eight bale system like that I don't like them uh, as far as the eight bale packs I do not like them uh, the ten bale packs they don't I don't like the pattern they use if they used eight straight and two sideways uh, and you could still buy them new like that might think about it um, but they don't uh, they just have the eight bale uh, straights uh, on the edge and I don't like that they don't load well they don't uh, carry well a lot of people's going to disagree with me with that but uh, they don't as compared to the uh, 10 bale pattern with the two tie bales on the end flat uh, I found that's the best uh, way to haul and then be stable on the trailer and easiest way to tie down um, for me uh, a lot of people is probably going to disagree but for me that's what I like and that's what works uh, and that's why I'll go with that system and it doesn't take hydraulics so I can pull it with any tractor we've got which is a plus um, and it just uh, it helps tremendously it's going to help us out tremendously. The only bad thing I've heard is uh, every now and then uh, you can have one to fall from the top and not go in like the slot like it's supposed to and fall out of the accumulator, uh, which isn't a big deal to me. Uh, DLH, I talked to him quite a bit about that, and he said that uh, you can just pick it up when it comes out of the back of the accumulator and just stick it back in. And he said it, it does it very rarely, and it's not that big of a deal which he's on the same terrain I am, so I'm going uh, to take his word for it. And I've talked to several other people that said the same thing um, around here. But uh, that's as far as around baler purchasing. I don't see one in the spring. If it does happen, it would be late, maybe mid to late summer. Uh, I do want to try the Massey, new Massey baler. That's the Lely. Uh, or welder design I don't know when that's going to be here uh, I've heard that it's coming and I've heard that it's not coming this year so uh, maybe somebody from Massey that's on here uh, can let enlighten me a little bit on that uh, in the comments I do want to get one of those uh, hopefully Kane and, uh, can get with Massey and get me one uh, to try out uh, and demo for a little while uh, might, uh, if they were up to doing a video I'd be up to doing that um, with them but uh, that's all up to them but um, as far as uh, that that's where we're at we're just kind of waiting around to see what fertilizer is going to cost because last year we were out a lot of money uh, for fertilizer uh, because we had to put a good bit back um, and I'm waiting to see what the soil test is going to say I am going to make a video on how to do soil test um, in the way we do it anyway uh, uh, probably coming up in the next couple weeks um, got a lot of equipment to work on the Heston inline has got their Massey Baylor has got to be uh, having the knife sharpened and gone through check everything like I did last spring but I am going to sharpen the knives this year on it because they are due if need it doing uh, the international truck one of y'all recommended do it, putting uh, this additive in to the oil to help uh, lubricate the engine on the inside so I'm going to try that before we do injectors I've got a lot of service work and the work I got to do to it so it's got to be put in the shop for a while a lot of shop videos are about to start after the first of the year like uh, last year I did a lot of those in the beginning of the channel. Um, there's going to be a lot of that coming up. So if you like to see working on videos, you're going to get. A, there's going to be a bunch of those coming. Um, trying to think, sprayer-wise, the sprayers. Uh, I am going to be purchasing a control box for the 500-gallon sprayer for section control on the booms, pressure control, and uh, an on and off switch. So I can just flip that switch instead of cutting the PTO on and off. 
to help save wear and tear on the tractors uh, and going that route um, I talked about that I was going to do that this year last year I also talked about putting uh, non-drip nozzles on that thing that I uh, think T-Jet has them uh, but uh, I don't as of right now I don't know if I'm going to do that or not um, we'll see uh, the 300 gallon hardy I don't know what we're going to do with that. My grandpa wanted to make the booms bigger like the uh, 500 gallon sprayer. But if we did that, that would probably mean that I would need to purchase another uh, GPS for that sprayer as well. And as, as of right now, I'm not buying one. Uh, if my grandpa wants to go that route, he can get it. Uh, but I'm not buying another one. I've got the one I've got and I use that one and that's the only one I'm until it breaks I'm not or I need to upgrade. I'm not getting another one um, Trying to think uh, the Vermeer It needs uh, All steel teeth put in it like one of y'all recommended. Uh, I hate those rubber teeth uh, There it needs those put in it uh, other than that, it's in excellent condition. Um, but I hate to put those teeth in it because if we do trade, that's going to be the baler we trade. Because uh, that baler, uh, the Klaus is, is just uh, so much faster. And I would rather just keep the uh, Klaus and let that one go on down the road and get another Klaus or maybe the Massey uh, baler, um, depending on if I can get one to demo. Um, but that's kind of where that one's at. I'm trying to think. You know, that's about, I mean, other than everything else needs servicing and everything. That'll be a lot of that. But that's what to look forward to in the upcoming spring. Uh, big changes coming for the channel. Upgrades. Uh, a lot of stuff I'm about to do to make the quality better and I will talk about that in another video and an update for that. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I really appreciate all y'all. Uh, y'all have made, definitely made uh, changes in my life and the outlook I have on things. And I've really enjoyed doing this for the past year with y'all and talking and interacting with all y'all. And it's made uh, a big impression on my life and I just want to say thank y'all for that. Hope y'all have a good Christmas. Merry Christmas from Bagel Farms and I'll see y'all later.